In this video, we're going to see how to use the if error function with two practical examples. Let's start with the first one where I need to calculate the average cost in the stock for each one of the items that I have in my inventory. I have the products, the ID, the shelf location, the quantity, and the total. And the thing that I need to do here is in this average cost in stock column, I want to have just a simple math equal sign and then the total divides by the quantity. Simple as that. And then I can hit enter. And as we can see, if I have a total price and the number of units, I can have the average cost for this specific item. And if I bring this formula down at the bottom right corner, click hold and drag down, look what's going to happen here. As we can notice, I have a couple of euro messages. And why is that? In this case right here, those messages are indicate that I have a division by zero. So instead of using this arrow in my report, because in simple words, I think it's ugly to let those arrows in the report, I want to customize the message to another message. So we can use the if arrow because the way if we have a arrow, you can customize, you can change the arrow to another thing. So let's take a look here. Let me get rid of everything and then equal sign if arrow function. Here we have double click to select one, two. Okay. Now, what is the value that I want to verify if I have or not a arrow? Is the division. So let's do it again. Total divides by quantity. Okay. So if we have a arrow in this calculation, I want to use comma to go to the second argument and the value if it's a arrow. I want to input the number zero and then close parentheses and then hit enter. Let's see what's going to happen now if I bring this formula down. Okay, now instead of having the arrow, we can see that we have zero or nothing in the division. And but we can still customize this message. Instead of using the, the zero, a number, maybe I can in between quotations, it's very important to code and code the text. So open quotations and then product out of stock. Close quotations and then enter. Let me bring this formula down again. To update the results and now Excel is retrieving us a different message. Whenever we have a arrow, now we're gonna have a customized message product out of stock. I think it's much better to have a customized message instead of having the hash sign and then the arrow here in the report. Now we can go to a second example to see another practical application on how can we use this if arrow function. Let's say I have a sales report with the product, customer name, price, cost, and margin. I want to calculate the margin. And it's very simple to do. Let's say it's the gross profit. Let's change this name right here. Gross profit. Okay. And then equal sign. I want to have the price minus the cost and then enter. As we can see here, the gross profit is not going to work that well because I still need to fill in all the costs for all the products. Because right now, those cells are blank. But instead of manually check all the costs for all the products that I have using the inventory list, because here I have the costs that corresponding to each one of the products, I don't want to do it manually because it's going to take a long time, right? So I can automate this test using the VLOOKUP function or the XLOOKUP function or the index match, you name it. I'm going to use a function to help me automate this test. But let's stick with the equal sign VLOOKUP function. Once you to select the lookup value is the first item that I have, item E. And then comma, the table array that I want to use to look up for this item and also to bring back the result are the column V, W, and X. Okay. And then comma, and the column index number is the column that I want to retrieve as result. And this column is the cost. And the cost is the first, the second, the third column. So the number three is the number that I need to input in this argument. Choma, as the range lookup, I want to have a exact match. Double click one, two, close parentheses, and then enter. I got as result $20 as cost for the item need. Let's manually check if it's correct. Item need equal to $20. Yeah, it's perfectly correct. Now at the bottom right corner of the cell, let's double click to Cope this function now, one, two, okay? Even though we have all the results right now already done here for us, I can see that we still got some arrows, such those ones right here. And why is that? Because if we take a look in the product that are being used, 
uh, in the lookup function, we can see item Z, item Y, item A2, and all those items are not in the list. So this is why we have the arrow, because there is no such products on the inventory list. And of course, we're going to have this NA arrow. However, to customize the arrow and again, to get rid of this ugly message of my sales report, I can use the if arrow function to help me. So let me double click in the first cell, one, two, and immediately after the equal sign, before the VLOOKUP function, I want to append the if arrow function. Double click to select one, two, and the first argument that we have in the if arrow function is the value. And the value is stands for the VLOOKUP function. If the VLOOKUP function is equal to a arrow, so, comma, I want to input something else, such as code product not found, uncode close parentheses, and then enter. Let me double click again at the bottom right corner of the cell, one, two, and yeah, that's it. Now I have a customized message arrow, as we can notice. So this is how we can use in a practical way the if arrow function in Excel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.